hello class how are you doing hope you are doing good so today we will talk about the remaining part of the motor system right we have covered sensory one we have covered about ascending tracks then the subcortical region which control motor movement which controls motor movement right so and what part of the subcortical controls the motor movement basal ganglia and cerebellum so we have covered all these things now in the motor system these are the subcortical areas which control but apart from this subcortical area the motor system the entire movement which is supposed to happen is controlled by we can say there is a hierarchy maintained and this hierarchy is subdivided into three parts one is the motor cortex second one is brain stem and third one is spinal cord okay so all these this is the highest level this is the lowest level which controls any movement and this is the intermediate one so some of the movements they are either controlled by just by this lowest level some of the movement which are controlled mainly performed with the help of the lowest level but have got association from the intermediate or the higher level and the more complex one as the movement becomes more and more complex more and more higher center gets involved in this so based on this we can say these movements the motor movements we can also subdivide them into three types three parts three types of the movement one is reflexive movement right second is rhythmic and the third one is voluntary now what's the difference between these three reflexive we have done the reflexes what is the reflex there is a stimulus and it will end up with a response without even thinking right that is a reflex rhythmic rhythmic is in between this reflex your voluntary we can say rhythmic is as the name itself suggest it's a rhythm it's continuous repetitive it's continuous repetitive movement like as the example that chewing when you chew the thing walking okay walking or if you like say there is a mosquito bite what you will do you will keep on doing the scratching like this continuous okay scratching so all these things they are rhythmic now coming to the voluntary part voluntary is the one which means the movement motor movement will take place but it will not just happen with the help of the spinal cord yes spinal cord is needed because the lowest level will always be needed in all these three type of the movement but more and more complexity will come from the motor cortex and the brain stem okay from the motor cortex and the brain stem i'll give a perfect example like uh, the current scenario like there is indo china dispute going on what happened on that fateful night the army persons they went over there they were not prepared for the thing something happened unfortunate thing and indian army responded without even thinking about the protocol because when these kind of the things happen the rule books go out of the window they will immediately agar aapko koi thappad maarta hai to aap immediately thappad maro that is a reflexive one right now what about the voluntary voluntary is the current situation that's going on 
Now, what is happening in the current situation? There has been dispute, there has been loss of the lives on both the sides, but there is still dispute going on. But the China as well as the India, they are planning to diffuse the thing off voluntarily. And if the things they won't get settled, then there might be some issue. Nobody knows. But voluntarily means they are planning, programming, they are using their higher center, highest most center. This is just like a very vague example, but in the current scenario, I wanted to explain it to you. Like how these reflexive and voluntary are different from each other. Now, this voluntary, I gave you the example of this thing. This voluntary can be of two types. One is when you are getting feedback from the sensory one, sensory system. Now in this example, the war-like situation, whatever, I'm not saying the war-like situation, this dispute thing, these things, the sensation is that. Like there has happened something, that's why the arm is responding. That is one. Second is, there is no sensation coming. Just an internal thought. Just an internal thought. Like say, <clears throat> external environment are not doing anything like when I'm taking lecture I feel thirsty what will I do that feeling thirsty is my internal mild you okay so there is a glass of water I will reach to that glass of the water pick it up and then drink it so that motor moment is happening without any external stimuli from the internal stimuli but that external sensory signal is needed for even that particular voluntary moment to happen. I am aware about the location of the glass of the water, how far it is there, right? And how much it is filled, if it is full or if it is half filled, accordingly my body will provide, apply the force, reach up to that point, pick it up and bring it closer to my mouth. Okay, so all these things happening that will require, that will need, this complexity will need the participation of motex and the brainstem area. Now, this thing, I will give you one more example. These voluntary movement, this voluntary movement, it has two type of the loop. One is feedback loop and other one is Feed forward. Now what is feedback and what is feed forward loop? Feedback loop and feed forward loop is like when you are performing a movement moment to moment, second by second, moment to moment, there is feedback going and that feedback is happening at the time of the moment when the moment is happening and that feedback is immediately going back so that it helps in fine tuning the movement right that is one then there is a feed forward feed forward feed forward is like you are anticipating a thing and the exam example of the feedback and feed forward see this feedback feedback movement it's not like whatever the feedback is coming like I have to do perform this kind of the movement and there will be planning, pl planning, programming and execution of the moment will happen. Now the execution of the moment and then it won't like Ab mujhe kuch nahi karna. No, it will have control. Like there is a particular reference type of the moment. Like this significant reference response is needed. Right. And you have sent the information and the optimum amount of the force for the muscle to apply to reach to that reference response. If that reference response is reached or not, if it is not reached, if it is less or if it is more, then it will be corrected. Right, it will be corrected. And how it will be corrected? Because this motor system has got association with the sensory. It's getting the sensory feedback. The example is like say, Nowadays, <coughs> in the summer time, you have set room temperature of 24, okay, 24 degree. Like, 
आपने ए सी ऑन किया है ट्वेंटी फोर टेम्परेचर सेट कर दिया है नाउ द ट्वेंटी फोर डिग्री शुड बी द एम्बियन टेम्परेचर योर थर्मोस्टेट विल सेंस वट इज द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द रूम इफ द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द रूम इज ट्वेंटी एट और थर्टी और फोर्टी वट एवर इट विल ब्रिंग इट डाउन राइट बट इफ द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द रूम इज ट्वेंटी टू एंड यू हैव सेट योर ए सी एट ट्वेंटी फोर डिग्री देन वट विल हैपन देन अगेन ए सी का मतलब तो कूलिंग हो गया आपका कूलिंग का नहीं आएगा नाव इट हैज टू स्विच द हीटर ऑन राइट बिकॉज द एम्बियन टेम्परेचर इज ऑलरेडी बिलो द रेफरेंस नंबर रेफरेंस टेम्परेचर सो इट विल टर्न द हीटर ऑन इफ इट इज थर्टी डिग्री इट विल टर्न द हीटर ऑफ कूलिंग विल बी डन राइट सो दिस इज द वे ऑफ द फीडबैक सिस्टम वर्क नाउ द फीड फॉरवर्ड फीड फॉरवर्ड एक्चुअली दिस फीड फॉरवर्ड इज काइंड ऑफ ए मिस नॉमर बट दे हैव यूज दिस टर्म इट्स काइंड ऑफ एंटीसिपेटरी वी कैन से इट्स एन एंटीसिपेटरी वट इज एन वट वी मीन बाई एंटीसिपेटरी दिस इज वेरी लेट मी गिव अ वेरी परफेक्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एंटीसिपेटरी मूवमेंट सी All of us, we have played the cricket, right? When, whenever a batsman hits the ball, there is a field over here. As soon as the ball leaves the bat, this fielder will automatically adjust its position, right? It is adjusting its position. It's not like the sensation is happened that there is a painful or there is a touch like what is happening in the reflex reflex you are hitting hitting the muscle you are that uh, receptor that is located either in the superficial part of the skin or deep within that is getting stimulated that is sending the sensation and then body is responding this one this is the visual spatial signal okay visual spatial signal so with the help of that visual spatial signal the person this filter will move accordingly okay and the most important thing is this ball the distance if the distance remains the same the speed of the ball can be less or more if it is a fast shot the ball will reach earlier if it is slow it will reach later but in both the situation the body will adjust accordingly it will anticipate similarly we can say like say there is a, he has hit the shot and it is in the air now the ball has reached in the air in one scenario up to this point and in second scenario up to this point and here is the filter okay here is the filter hand now this ball will drop the filter has positioned himself accordingly and as soon as the ball reaches at this point just imagine this much distance has left then there will be the closure of the finger right there will be the movement of the fingers muscle will contract and they will catch the ball now if the ball has reached to this point then same situation will happen if the when the ball reaches at this point the same distance then there will be the contraction of the muscle or the fingers will happen right now the difference between these two is say the ball is falling from this one it is going downward because it is coming from the higher center the speed will be more as compared to the speed of the ball in this scenario when it hits the hand why because the gravity has acted more so if the ball was over here then the situation is not the same in this one ball started coming down at this point but at this one in this in second scenario the ball was already coming down the speed is more so accordingly body has anticipated in both the situation the person will catch the ball right will catch the ball but the speed of the ball was more in second scenario as compared to the exhibit one so who has sent the signal the sensory signal to the brain to act accordingly that was the visual not only the visual visual will be there but 
with the experience we can say with the experience so all these things the external environment visual auditory visual spatial experience all will come into play and perform this complex movement okay perform this complex movement